I know everyone loves exams, so let's uh, look at what an exam is from the point of view of a function. So suppose you have a class of students, and you have an exam worth a certain number of marks. Then let's define a function where the domain is set of students in the class codomain is the set of all possible marks Then the exam is a function. Let's call the exam E. E from the set of all students to the set of all possible marks where a particular student goes to that student's mark in the exam. So that defines an ex uh, a function for that exam. Now the question is, what would it mean for E to be injective, or one-to-one? -one? And I guess to make this more complete, you could also ask, what would it mean for E to be surjective or onto okay so if you want to do it please pause it yeah so this is an interesting way to look at exams um, it's really just a, a way of assigning marks to students and so if it was injective that would mean that every student would be assigned a different mark so first of all there'd have to be more mark values than students for that to happen and generally exams are trying to make such a function injective because usually an exam will try to rank you among your classmates so it's important to get a clear rank um, of scores for each student and the problem I've always had with ex exams was the assumption was if you were ranked lower by some exam you were worse than that other student at mathematics or somehow your mark in the exam uh, was the whole story about you and it's just simply not the case I mean there's so, many, so much more information contained in a person than just this one number at any one point in time but it does contain some information and, and the, the better the exam is written the more information it will contain Okay, enough about that. The second part is what does it mean for the exam to be subjective? Well, subjective means that all of the possible marks are obtained by students. So this would mean that there'd be more students than actual possible marks. So this exam could be out of 17, and then there's 30 students in the class. And in that case, 
some students would definitely have to get the same marks and this is not usually this is not very good because the students that get the same marks cannot be separated for ranking purposes uh, there's one special case that if the number of students is equal to the number of possible marks then it can still be subjective and injective so then it, it, there's a it's a very special case where no, none of the students do have the same mark and it's still subjective but other than that some students will always share marks and there's not enough marks to really distinguish the students by rank 